the asphalt hasn't been repaved for many years, and you're riding into the United States of America, and you're seeing, and they have slums. They have slums. We have to take out the slums. We're going to take out the slums. We're going to treat people nicely, but we have to take out the slums. We can't let homeless stay in the middle of our magnificent parks under the Washington Monument and other places. In the United States, we are experiencing record high numbers of unhoused individuals, especially following COVID lockdown. And you hear politicians constantly talking about the homelessness issue. And the focus always somehow seems to be we need to clean up the homeless areas for our benefit. Boy, I hate lo having to look at the unhoused. We got to fix this problem. It's gross to me. Instead of the we need to work on this homelessness issue because I feel bad that all of these people are homeless point of view that I think is more fitting for the problem. We're going to clean up Washington, free, D.C., and we're going to make it a crime-free zone. There's not going to be any crime. We're going to have laws, but we're going to have to take it over. We're going to federalize it. We're going to take it over. We're going to run it, and we're going to run it properly. We're going to run it very, very strongly, and uh, there's not going to be people shot. People come in from uh, your state. They want to go see Washington. So they come in from New Hampshire. They walk down the road. They end up getting shot. And uh, it's a very dangerous place right now. We're going to take it back and we're going to get rid of the crime and we're going to fix it up, clean it up. And uh, we're going to make it the most beautiful capital in the world and the safest capital in the world. We're going to do it very quickly, too. We're going to get rid of those disgusting, nasty, crime-ridden, unhoused people in D.C. that are pointing guns at tourists. Imagine losing your house for any number of reasons, because homelessness can happen to anyone at any time. And then immediately, everyone assumes that you are pointing guns at tourists and they're asking you to leave. They're telling you, you can't be here, you gross up the place, go somewhere else, despite the fact that you have nowhere else to go. And so the solution is pretty consistently just moving the homeless, just getting rid of the homeless whatever that is supposed to mean. Let me tell you about San Diego, because they're considering banning homeless encampments on public property. Uh, San Diego County Supervisor Jim Desmond is with me now. Jim, you're going to hear from the ACLU about this. They won't let you do it. Can you actually do that legally? Well, we'll find out, and hopefully the city of San Diego is going to pass that today. But I'm sure the ACLU is, is going to come after us. And, yeah. and unfortunately, you know, this is a good first step, but we still have this Housing First program that allows drug use and, and doesn't require any treatment when we do get people into housing or do get people there, which is why our numbers, even after spending billions and billions of dollars in the state of California on homelessness, it, the, our numbers keep going up. And as you reported, 14 percent in the last over the last year after spending billions of dollars, it just hasn't worked. But it's a good first step to get people off the streets, hopefully into housing. But then they got to get treatment and care. There are two kinds of property, private property and public property. And the homeless people can't be on private property and they don't have their own private property, obviously. So if they can't be on public property anymore, where would you like them to go? We're going to clean up the city and we're going to remove the homeless and the unhoused from from public spaces. Where where are they going to move to? Not my problem. Not my problem. They can uh, go to the moon with no suit for all I care. Not my problem. I got to clean this area up for the people who are already housed. That's all I care about. Not to mention, you can't have a stipulation for unhoused people who are addicts that you can have a home as long as you quit your addiction. That's not how addiction works. And yes, you're right. We do need resources to help them. But you can't say, well, you can't have a house if you're going to be using because addiction doesn't just stop like that. If it was that easy for them to stop being addicted to whatever it is they're addicted to, they would have done it already. You can't have that kind of stipulation for housing if you say you want to house the homeless. It has to be even if I know they're going to be using in that house, they still deserve to have a roof over their head. That's how housing works, or should work. But because no one wants to approach this issue from an empathetic place, 
the unhoused numbers in this country are skyrocketing and our efforts to get people into housing not working at all. According to new federal data, a record number of people are now unhoused, more than 653,000, a 12% population increase since last year. Mel Tilakaratna runs a nonprofit that provides free showers to people living on the street. The system is completely overwhelmed. Tilakaratna points to a rise in housing costs, the opioid epidemic, mental health issues, and the migrant crisis as factors exacerbating the problem in LA. In Phoenix, the city recently cleared a large encampment located downtown. It seems that the quote unquote cleanup that the city did just spread the mess out a lot further. People going through everyone's dumpsters, dragging stuff out into the streets. Across LA, officials have tried to clear out encampments. They come hit tents and then all your stuff will be gone. We need to approach this issue because we want to help people who are unhoused, not because we don't like to see it, we'd rather not know that they exist and bury our heads in the sand. And we need officials and politicians who want to approach it from that same angle, or we are not going to move this issue forward in any sort of positive way. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.